so excited. I got my H110. I better put the cap on good. That would be a tragedy to spill it on the first day, wouldn't it? I'll just show you these products. Base, I guess they're base wads. Base column wads. I got these because I figured they would take up a good bit of height depending on how we want to load these. And I've got some nitro cards and some fiber Wadding. I got my bullets. 0 0.390, 0 0.203 ounces each. I got my little number one cup, and I'll show you how I came to that. I went to the H110 site, Hogden, and which is pretty cool. I like their website. You can enter your load data. Uh, your, you know, your shells, your hulls, and um, it'll obviously spit out your grains of powder, which is confirmed because that says 15.7. So now I go to my Lee loading chart, my fancy, fancy, fancy pants. Where is it, Barrett? The closest one I could get that I was happy with was the 15.3 so it said cup number one which I thought was pretty cool and that is the size as you can see here as verified by the missing cup <laughs> there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to just put 15 grains in a few minutes ago I actually verified that one of these was 15.3, so let's try it again, Barrett. Get one scoop. 14.7. Huh. Now, there's some powder in there. There we go, 15.1. There we go, 15.4. Okay, I was wondering what was going on because I confirmed it at 15.3 earlier. I'd like to try to get it to 15, and this may be too difficult. Um, to do. There we go. 15. All right. And then I would just load that into the shot shell. Let's see, one thing I don't have, and I'm probably going to regret this, is a funnel. But I know I can't get more than 15 grains in there. So I'm not worried about um, having too much. This is literally the first round I've loaded in my life. So This video is just to show you how I'm loading them. So let's just take this. And we'll weigh it and see, because I haven't cleared it yet. It's coming up at zero, so I feel comfortable. I got most of the powder in there. What I want to do is load two for now, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, and then I'll get comments from everybody. And the reason I'm doing so much detail here is I want Gun Geek to see, I want to get his opinion. These are supposed to be 0 0.203 from my previous oh, grain, uh oh. <laughs> Where's my ounce? There we go. Yeah, so I actually, and I actually checked that. I took point, um, 390 and I took the, the radius uh, and I did, you know, the volume, which I think it came out to 0.25 cubic inches. And I multiplied that times the weight of lead, and it came out uh, within a, 
you know, it was like 0.203. So my question is, I'm thinking about loading one of these with two, which is under a half of an ounce. You know, I'm still on ounces. And one of them with three, which should be just a little over a half of an ounce. Now, what are the effects of that? for you expert guys out there. So that's one question. So the next question is, what am I going to do about spacing? I think what I'm gonna do is start off with one of these wads, which said that you could use it against the powder as a gas seal. So you can look those up, tell me if that's right or wrong. But I think I can get by with putting this in Okay, do one of those because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fill out some of that space. Look what I found, Barrett. A punch. One of my SDI files Real file. has a nice end on it. I'll just poke that down in there. You can kind of feel its seat. So better hold it. Now you're asking me why am I putting that in there first? That is because now I can adjust my, you know, the height and all that without having to worry about the powder coming out. That's why I didn't put the little cup in first. So next, Barrett, what do we do? We got quite a ways to go on these shells. I don't know, I feel like I need to put the cup in there next. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's concentrating. Okay, so we got our little cup, our little I'm calling it a shock cup, but it's a wad it's a you know wad cup or whatever base. Our little bullets fit just nicely in there. Well it keeps it stable anyway. So now I feel like I want to put my shot in, my slug. So that's coming up there. Pretty good, Barrett. So I'm going to put two in one of them. Uh oh, look at that. Barrett, I think I found the perfect combo. So two, three aren't going to fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get out the little shot cup, the little wad because I did read that you can put shot right against those fiber wads. So now we're gonna put three. One, two, three. And what would one of these, can you put one of these or does that put too much pressure on it? Maybe what I'll do is I'll just put a card on top of it. Something tells me this is not as good as this because this is two. This is more close to the weight and it's also filling out the shot shell better. I don't know if I can get that. Yeah, I can get it. I can get that crimped, pretty sure. And what brand was this, um, this roll crimper? What I'm gonna make is a base for these, the sliding two to hold them uh, flat and still. You really need almost like a drill press because I'm not holding it at the best angle and it's doing it. Cockeyed. But we'll try it. And you know, Barrett, I kind of toyed with the idea of just waxing them 
if that roll crimper is going to do that or maybe I just need to learn how to use it but if that becomes a continuing problem because one thing we don't want to do is have to load these individually by hand right I'd like to load up 20 of them load them six at a time or whatever and shoot and have some fun with them so so Barrett Barrett are you ready to go to the range and shoot some top secret bullets uh -huh. Nice.